Canada is going down a dangerous path, and Alberta is being seriously impacted, negatively impacted by decisions made in Ottawa. We all know that. Decisions made through an ideological lens without empathy for the communities that rely on those industries, the people who rely on those jobs, the family incomes, and the customers who benefit from our products. And what are we to do about it? Alberta must fight back, absolutely. But we can't be risky and we can't be hot-headed. Being Premier is a lot more than being a talk show host. We need stable and serious government in Alberta now more than ever before. I experienced this in 2007 and again in 2015 during the royalty review when investment fled the province and that was due to provincial policy. And that was tame compared to the Sovereignty Act. Folks, I fear for where our country is headed, which is why we need serious and stable leadership, not risky and hot-headed ideas. And that's why when it comes to the provincial surplus, I'm an <clears throat> economist, I know how to do forward planning. We must absolutely pay down debt. We must absolutely put some funds into the Heritage Savings Trust Fund. And we must strategically invest and target an investment in infrastructure. I had talked about infrastructure earlier, health and education. But I had also mentioned that when governments can help, they should. There are many people in this province who are hurting who cannot make their grocery bills. And that is why I had talked about indexing seniors' benefits, age benefits, and income tax. Sonny, over to you. Two minutes for closing. Thank you. I have a question for all of you. Why do we do the things that we do? Why do we get up in the morning and go to work or make decisions about how to spend our days? We do it for our children, our families, and our communities. And that is why I got into politics in the first place, for my children and family, and for your children and families. And folks, I have already mentioned several times today that Canada is going down a dangerous path, led by destructive policies from the Trudeau Liberals. We can respond impulsively with anger. That would feel good, but it is risky. I have experienced the economic turmoil caused by unstable and unpredictable government. I talked about that today as well. The answer, the answer isn't to threaten sovereignty or separation. And I'm going to say something right now, and I want everyone to listen closely. A Danielle Smith victory today means a Rachel Notley victory tomorrow. There is a better way. Our UCP team All right, let's can keep build it down, audience. This is closing. and resilience in Alberta. I've lived and worked in Alberta all my life, and I know the energy industry, and I know how to lead a team. We do have a choice. One choice is to roll the dice on risky and hot-headed ideas, but if we lose that gamble, the losers are Albertans. It's all of us. So in closing, what I would say to all Albertans who are listening right now on the live feed is please do make sure that you go out and purchase a membership. This election is consequential. It will determine the course that our province goes in for at least a decade. Don't be complacent. Don't be forgetful. Please do pick up your membership and I would say please do visit my website, voterogen.ca, to learn more about me. And don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to talk to you anytime, All right, thank you, any Masani. Place.